Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Mozilla has recently made an interesting announcement, saying that as of November the 3rd, 2025, all new Firefox extensions will be required to specify if they collect or transmit personal data. Mozilla says that this will apply to new extensions only and not new versions of existing extensions. And it's mentioned that extensions that do not collect or transmit any personal data are required to specify this. Mozilla goes on to say that the information will then be displayed to the user when they start to install the extension alongside any permissions it requests. So here are just two examples of that that are given from the announcement. So when an extension collects data, Firefox displays the data that it collects as part of the installation prompt. So here you can see it says required data collection. The developer says this extension collects location. And then heading to the next example, it said that extensions that do not collect any data still have a data collection section listed, as we can see, which says the developer says this extension doesn't require data collection. So what we can gather from the announcement is that Mozilla says that only new extensions are required to provide data collection information. Existing extensions may add the information voluntarily, but need to continue doing so once started. And Mozilla has also revealed from the announcement that all Firefox extensions will be required to provide the information from 2026 onward. Now, although Mozilla has said from 2026 onward, it hasn't given us an exact date and time, but it's most probably going to become mandatory in the first half of 2026 next year. And Mozilla says that extensions that do not have the information in their manifests but are required to will be prevented from being submitted to the Firefox extensions repository. So an interesting announcement. I think this is a move in the right direction because Mozilla wants to improve the transparency when it comes to the collection of user data by extensions. And extensions can be a so-called gateway into a browser or a system when it comes to malicious code. So I think that tightening their grip on this, so to speak, is a nice move and a move in the right direction. And let me know what you guys think, good or bad move. Let me know your thoughts down below. But with all this said and done, Mozilla has not given us any info how it's going to deal with extensions that are no longer updated, no information regarding those are given. But nonetheless, I still think this is a nice move. Let me know your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.